check two, check one, check two, check microphone, check one, two, one, two, microphone, check one, two. Mm, about to go down, family is about to go down. A little bit slow, but it's going down. Here we go. Let's see. Is everything on? Everything's on, brother. I tell him. Then let's kick it. I messed up. But all right, it's cool. <sighs> Bargani family. Bargani is going down. Get your waters out. Get your waters. Get your waters. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Take a breath and drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Take your breath and drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Now lift your glass and drink your water. Lift your glass and drink your water. Lift your glass and drink your water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Body, drink some water. Move your body, drink some water. Move your body, drink some water. Move your body, drink some water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Mm. Lift your glass and toast your ass. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Lift your glass and toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink, 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 drink. Almost go. A Barigani family. Welcome you to Giami Journey. We about to kick it this morning. I know it's kind of early for some of y'all. I know. But for the others, for the team, for the team. I already know some of y'all out there wait. But I got to make sure I'm able to hit everybody. Because I, uh, I accidentally knocked off somebody yesterday. Let me invite Brother Kwame. I'm going to invite all I'm, I'm, I'm waking people up. Waking people up. Uh, what was Brother Anubis yesterday? You gotta check on him. What's going on here? Alright. Let me get Shock up in the room. Oh man, they don't even got Shaka showing up on my thing now. What's going on? What? Oh man, that's some bullshit. Alright, so now I have to go and refriend Shaka has been. Drink some water. Drink, 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 drink your water. Lift your glass and drink your water. Lift your glass and drink your water. What's up, Rashid? Lift your glass and drink some water. Lift your glass and drink some water. Drink, drink, drink. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, let's kill this water.
Mm. Trying to do the water, family. Get your water. Remember, there's only four things you need to stay healthy. Proper breathing, water, culturally appropriate food, movement. A Barigani today is for me, Kooji Chagalia, but a Moja, right? But Barigani family, it is Kwanzaa. We are in full Kwanzaa effect this morning. I got the lines open because I ain't got nowhere to go. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to rush out the door. So the lines are open. We're going to have some discussion. We're going to um, talk about what y'all want to talk about. The lines are open. As soon as I see what's going on with my computer, and, and, and y'all see I'm back in the captain's chair. So I ain't got to worry worry about uh, uh, my mama coming up and, and trying to, you know, trying to run things. You know, but you got to let the matriarch do her thing, right? You know what I'm saying? But hey. I'm back in the captain's chair, back over at my house. My kids had a great time yesterday, and I'm also streaming live on uh, YouTube right now as well. So, we also got the um, podcast going down. So, hey, family, like I said, call in and be heard, 614-556-4535. Once again, 614 um, uh Forgot the number. 614-556-4535. The discussion is up to you. Of course, we're going to do our toast. I just got to finish my water. Let me finish my water. I'm kind of slow this morning. Mm. So, um, today, as far as Kwanzaa, is the principle of a moja. So, why don't we take this time to talk about what moja is. Matter of fact, you know, maybe that will be the topic. Um, examples of emoji you have seen in history, in your personal life. Um, because some people out here, we some people need hope. You know what I'm saying? That this whole um, unity thing can work. And, and need a proper perspective of what unity really looks like. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, come on now. Drink, drink up your water. I got to get my water. So, today, in the spirit of toasting the ancestors and the spirit of Kwanzaa, we're going to talk about that principle of a mocha on, on, for us on the Kooji Chagalia Day, right? Because we got self-determination. We can determine what we talk about. All right, so family, feel free. Hit us up, 614-556-4535. Let's talk about what's unity. What does unity look like to you? What does it mean to you? You know what I'm saying? Where have you seen it in your life? You know what I'm saying? Let's go and talk about it. All right, let me go and post this number up real quick. Well, my computer moving slow, so it ain't no real quick. 614-556-4535. Once again, topic. What is unity? What does it look like? Where have you seen it? Have you been activating your reticular formation over the last few weeks and seeking out this unity that's out here? What examples? Well, we're going to toast real quick. Let me go and finish my water. This morning, I got the black seed ambrosia. So you see the black seed up at top, up top, right? Of course, we're going to mix that up just a little bit. And get that black. Mm, Lord have mercy. Y'all see that? That's that black seed floating around in there. So. Now, if you don't want to talk about unity, you got something else you want to talk about, by all means, call in. Sister Navita said it off yesterday. Lord have mercy. I have never... Never had a conversation like that on air. I mean, I had some nice conversations, but not that many people stopping in and checking it out. Mm. We finished with the water family. Let's get it. We're about to do this toast. Oh, even before we get to the toast, let's go and look at the day. The day is Coogee Chagalia. Oh, oh. Tonight, we're supposed to be doing um, folk tales for grown folks. So let me give y'all a little sample of what the story going to be. As a matter of fact, if some of y'all want to call in, 
talk about a story, we could do that as well. So the last time, huh? I know we did the quack frog, the lion, the wolf, and the fox was the story we were supposed to do last week. So we're going to do it this week. A lion, growing old, lay sick in his cave. All the beasts came to visit their king except the fox. The wolf, therefore, thinking that he had a capital opportunity, accused the fox to the lion of not paying any respect to him who had the rule over them all and not coming to visit him. At that very moment, the fox came in and heard these last words of the wolf. The lion roaring out in rage against him, the fox sought an opportunity to defend himself and said, now check this out. <laughs> and who of all those who have come to you have benefited you so much as I, who have traveled from place to place in every direction and have sought and learnt from the physicians the means of healing you? The lion commanded him immediately to tell him the cure. When he replied, you must flay a wolf alive and wrap his skin yet warm around you. The wolf was at once taken and flayed, whereon the fox turning to him said with a smile, you should have moved your master not to ill, but to good will. We're going to talk about that shit tonight, family. I want y'all to think on that. Roast on that for a second. That is hot. That's some, that's some, that's a gangster lesson. That's a business lesson. That's an economic lesson. That's a political lesson, right? This is truly going to be a grown folk discussion. Brother Kwame say, my beloved sister Navita is good for intelligence. Yes, she does. All right, so um, today is Kuji Chagalia. It's self-determination. Um, for those that don't know, Kuji Chagalia means self-determination. Um, the meiotic principle is justice. The color is indigo. Um, the, uh, the hermetic law is correspondence. If you was born on this day, which it is my day, your male name is Kwabana. If you are female, the name is Abana. For those that don't know, that's Gina, right? That, yeah. Yep, that's my baby. All right, emotional emancipation circle. Um, African Center Cultural Virtual and Value System. Today, we're looking at the principle in Wolof of Cursor, self respect, and respect for others. Very powerful. Generosity and beneficence in the Khan ethics. And in Yoruba, we have Ir Farabale. Or Ir Farabale. Or Ir Faraba. Something like that. Calmness. All right. So. We're going to get to our libations, then we get to our discussion. If y'all want to discuss the story just a little bit, I don't want to hit the story too much. We can, but it's your choice. All right, y'all ready? Y'all see that? Let's see if we can hear it. Ah, nope, this one been leaking. Been letting gas escape. We can't have that happening often. But... This one got that black seed. You know, black seed was all the rage for a little while. You know, the black seed oil. So I decided rather than putting oil in here, I would go actually get the get the black seed and allow the fermentation process to happen with the black seed and start helping bring out some of the properties, some of the healing properties of the black seed into that ambrosia. So just look up what black seed do, right? And then... You know about the fermenting power because that's the true power behind this ambrosia. All right, so we're gonna lift our glass and we're gonna toast the Creator by whatever name you choose. Call that Creator. We we lift up our glass to that first source, to that first ancestor, and we call on that power. We call into our life. We call into our day. We call it on this day, Akuji Chagalia Umoja, right? Or and for just Kwanzaa, we're in we're in Umoja, right? So. We call the creator down for a mojo. We say, I say. From there, family, we're going to move to our ancestors. 
and I got the list, and I can't wait to see the book because in the Kwanzaa book, our ancestors are sitting up in there. We got a whole page, so I'm just I'm just excited to see it. I hope every I hope everything worked out, and if not, it's still cool too, right? So we lift up our glass and we toast our personal ancestors, those who came before us, those who laid the foundation, those that helped us become who we are. We salute and we uplift them. We remember them and we call them by name. And we we uh, we want to awaken them from the sleep that they are in. We want to make sure that if they're hungry, that, that we are feeding them, right? So we lift up and we salute our ancestors, right? So I'm going to read the list, family. Here we go. Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robin the Tech Center, David Sean Brown, Senior Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Crystal Fanny Gasson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Fiend, Cleveland, and Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avaro Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tapper, John Falar, Montague Pittman L. <sighs> Brian Watson Jr. Um, Kaniko Parsons, Normal X, Pet Mount Rob, Malika Fakir, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Actor Jr., J. Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pullian, the Luxor Brothers, Mrs. Edith Brooks, Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Carol Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, um, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Randleman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lois Henderson, Calvin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susan B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jeannie Clay. All right, family, for anybody that got any family out there that you want me to toast, by all means, put them, you know, put them up on the timeline. Um, Bird Beatty, Sarah Ware, LaVita Farmer, Agoso Sue, Shell Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Le Evelyn, The Oldest Hasbe, Harvey Hasbury Sr., uh, Leonard Dickerson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Mary B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Eric, Erica, Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza, Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Keach Larice. Let me do that again. Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Keach Larice, Linda Watson Hammonds, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Selvin Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bolden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Ophelia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Essie Johnson, Del Rita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Worlds, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Gross, Bessie Johnson, Hattie Levester, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Mountaineer, Elder Amotep Wellman, Elder Amotep Wellman, Elder Amotep Wellman. Welcome to the ancestors. Frederick Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey and Eleanor Howe, Frank and Russell Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Will Joe Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy. Man, I love saying my, man, 
Shouts out to all of our ancestors. We lift up the glass, and if any time during the Daily Toast, if you post up an ancestor that you want me to shout out, by all means, ancestors have precedence on this show. So we lift up our glass, and we say, I say, from their family, we move on to the present moment. We kind of spoke about that earlier. But in this moment is our power. In this moment, we are in Kwanzaa season, family. Right now, we are on holy time, right? Right now, we on spirit time. Right now, we on empowering time. So now is the time for us to start really thinking about unity and building it up. Uh, Brother Kwame said, I want to know who posted Miss Sarah Berry. She was the grandmother of a young brother whom Charlotte and I had taken an interest. Um, all right, cool. It's just the, the fact that you posted it on there because the way I put this on here, I don't know. I don't know. Sarah Berry. I, I have to look into that. But just by posting the question, see, once again, by us saluting, that's unity. That's, that's how unity works, right? We got an entire network. Right, so now you heard a grandmother. You said, who posted that? See, oh, I, man, listen, I'm just, but yo, we lift up our glass to the present moment. In the present moment is our power. And we say our shade from there. We toast our children, our children's children unto infinity because we are responsible for the next seven generation family. So let's build. So we lift up our glass and we say our shade. Last but not least, oh, it ain't even last. We toast all of our relation. I was expecting someone one who is listening will respond. Oh, okay, cool. Cool. All right, you, you, you always a step ahead of me, Brother Kwame. So we lift up the glass, and we say, Ashe. From there, we salute you. We toast you, right? Your beautiful self, early in the morning. Getting up early when you don't have to, to do a toast for your ancestors. When you should, actually, you know, we should we should have to, but we don't have to no more, right? We don't have to, you know, because it's kind of funny to me. So we toast, we say, wait, hold on, before I get into my little going off and shit, you know, we toast our ancestors, we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years, fam. I need to let you know that you are now listening to Giamme. Journey Radio. God damn it. That anime. The fuck? Excuse me. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. These phoenixes are funny. You are now listening to Giami Journey. This is the Heart of a Simple Production. Of course, you know this is the Daily Toast. And we say... This is the heart of some production. We do nothing but strive to blow up your old paradigm. Hot damn. Woo, man, listen. Oh, shit. Oh. Woo. Damn, I ain't put no lemon in this, but... Somehow, the Black Sea threw on a sour tinge on this. This is beautiful here. This, ooh. Ah, that's good. All right. So, all right. Getting to the unity piece, right? Family. Family, family, family. We are on unity. So, if anybody say a Barigani to you, you're not on the challenge. You know what I'm saying? You say... Moja. What is a moja? A moja is unity, right? Now, a perfect example of unity for 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 you to reference, for those that might want to call in and want to have the discussion, perfect example of unity is your body. Right? If your body is healthy, in most cases, your body even in sickness, your body is working as one unit. You have different parts of your body, right? That's working to hold one thing together. That's you. Right? You got five parts of your being that work, that's supposed to work together to produce you. When the five parts of your being are working together harmoniously, are working together in unity, you have a beautiful life. Family, 
know what I'm saying? We got examples of unity all around us. We just got we we just got to look for them. If you have a tree outside your house, look at the relationship between the tree, the soil, the sky, the animals around it, the insects. Unity, a perfect example of unity, right? Now, see, and I know a lot of us, we're hard-pressed to find these examples because, you know, it's like in this world, you see so much shit going on, right? And it's like, it's like they want to take your focus off of what is successful, what is working for you so that you can always focus on what's not working so you can focus on that unhealthy shit. What I'm telling you is, when you activate the reticular formation and you actually go out here and start looking for our principles, you're going to find our principles working in nature and working in the world in ways that will surprise you. So when we talk about unity, family, you know what I'm saying? We got to understand that we're not talking about motherfuckers coming together and working together and being like robots. We're not talking about just the... Um, um, uh, um, um, a mindless group and, and an all-wise leader. We're talking about bringing elements together to work together to transform into something great. That's what. That's how unity works. You know what I'm saying? We all don't have to dress alike. We all don't have to think alike. Hell, we all don't have to believe alike. But what we have to have is a common goal that we are all working towards. Your body has a common goal. The brain want to survive. The heart want to survive. The liver want to survive. The lungs want to survive. And they all work together to make sure that the, that the one thing that's carrying them all together is able to work. Those, all, those, all, those, all those units of your body, all those different parts of your body work in one in wholeness to make sure that the body can work. Perfect example of unity. Now, if you want to also see unity, come out to the Kwanzaa tonight at the King um, uh, Martin Luther King Arts Complex and see us start working together. We're going to have the musicians. We're going to have different drum drum groups come together to work together. We have different aspects of the community coming to work together. We've got different vendors working together. We're going to have people coming together to help provide you with an opportunity to see our principles in action. That's what this holiday, that's what this these holy days are about. This is what this seven days are about. I've seen comments where people are like, you know, Kwanzaa is too long and, and and people only need one holiday. And, and I'm sitting up here like, you know, these usually some brilliant people, but you saying some dumb shit to me at this point in time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Why do we have to take our holidays and squeeze them all down into one? I got seven principles. I need seven days. Hell, I need seven weeks. Hell, I just showed y'all. We just had a whole year where I celebrated to uh, celebrate the principles of Kwanzaa. So I need a whole goddamn year. So can I get that? You know what I'm saying? No, nah, we need to squeeze it down into one day. That shit is ridiculous to me. Family, I'm just telling you. Right? You know, and one of the things, and one of the things I want to I wanna get out of everybody's mind, family, in order for us to be together, in order for us to grow, we don't all have to agree. There's conflict within unity. You do. I I want y'all to understand that, right? Because a lot of us, we dodge conflict. We we dodge some of the troubles. We dodge the struggle and shit, right? But out of that comes the greatness. Your body struggles every day. It, it's overcoming something. You know what I'm saying? Every day, your body is working. It's pulling in the air. It's extracting. It's extracting the ashe out the air. It's extracting the oxygen, and it's allowing the carbon dioxide to come out. That's a conflict. Your stomach is digesting the food, right? When you put the food up in there, before the food become part of you, there's a conflict where your digestive juices or energy, uh, the the energy is being extracted, and the waste is being put down, family. You know what I'm saying? That's a conflict. Something beautiful comes out of that. So sometimes we got to have conflict in order for us to grow. But a lot of us stay stuck because we be avoiding the conflict. And the conflict in a lot of instances bring the unity there. I want y'all to think about when you was young, right? If you had a crew, you know, because I, you know, I used to run with crews. One of the things I used to notice is that my crew was never tighter. It was never tighter. 
until conflict hit the scene. You know what I'm saying? One of the things that we lack as a, as a people is a goddamn enemy. Although we do think we have an enemy, we don't have, no, nah, that ain't no goddamn, we, we're not treating it like no enemy. Brother Kwame say, is the netter who represents trickery, surprise, and things of that nature. Who is, that's, um, that's, um, well, in the committed tradition, that's set in, um, in a Yoruba tradition, that's Eshu, you know what I'm saying, or Legba, right, um, um, of course, over here, you got Brother Rabbit, you got a Nazi, you know what I'm saying? That trickster spirit, family. See, because what, see, and this is what a lot of people don't understand. Let's, 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 let's get down into it, right? What is the trickster's role? The trickster's role is to, one, make sure that you are worthy of what you're supposed to be getting. The tristers bring conflict to see if you're worthy to get what you, you worthy of what the blessing you're supposed to receive. That's what it's all that. That's what it's about. It brings chaos in to see if you if you're going to stand if you're going to stand as a man or as a woman. It brings it brings conflict in to see if you're going to stand to see if you're worthy. See, a lot of us we think that we're just born worthy. Come on, family. Come on now, just because you was born. Behold, the only thing greater than yourself. Come on, family. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us honestly believe that we're born. That we're born and we're worthy. And the bottom line fact is that you always have to find this, always some type of way that you have to prove yourself. And, and and one of the problems with our with a lot of our organizations, right? See, and this I think this is one of the reasons that the Nation of Islam has been around so long, right? Because you have to prove you can't just jump up and be like, "Ha ha, I'm in the nation now." Ha <laughs> No, you're not. You see, what I'm saying they don't play that shit. You know what I'm saying? And we got to get like that kind. Of, we got ain't even no kind of. We got to get like that. Within our with with within our organizations, you can't just jump up and all of a sudden be you 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 know what I'm saying you you um you top flight security of the world the black man the 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 black god and and you rule the universe and shit like you know what I'm saying there should be some process for all that shit. Um, brother Carl may say in mathematics it is represented by randomness or as you say that sense of chaos, but I remind all that even chaos has order to it. If you only as see, and that's the peace. That's how can I put it? That you develop that skill by embracing the chaos. You you by by involving yourself in the conflict, you learn to see the order. But if you're looking from the outside, all you see is chaos. This is why with the culture, like for example with hip hop, see, because a lot of people don't even see, don't especially in the conscious community for some reason, we don't even see the value of hip-hop and how hip-hop has brought a lot of people to us. In Because in, hip-hop is what woke me the fuck up, right? But in hip-hop, there's a saying is that you can't observe hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you can't observe it. You got to be involved in it. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? Hence the name hip You got to be involved in it. You can't, you you can't you don't understand hip hop from the outside. You know what I'm saying? You got to be involved in the shit. You know what I'm saying? And 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 that's where that order, that's where you start seeing the order because from the outside, if you just looking at hip hop, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna see chaos, you're gonna see craziness, you're not gonna be able to understand what's going on. But when you get on the inside of K on the inside of hip hop, and I ain't just talking rap music for for those of you that don't even understand what I'm talking about. But when you get on the inside of it and you see what's going on, you understand. You know what I'm saying? Um, Karis One says it's bad. He said rap is something you do. Hip hop is something you live. You got to get inside and do it. And it's the same thing with our culture, family. You can't judge our culture from the outside. You ain't going to under. You're not. See, you can't. You Actually, there is nothing that you can really understand from the outside. You got to immerse yourself in that shit. 
Kwame, you didn't master mathematics by sitting on the outside of the shit. You know what I'm saying? And evaluating other motherfuckers that was doing mathematics. You became a master of mathematics and able to do it inside your head to a point where you could do it inside your head because you threw yourself in that shit and start doing it. You don't become a master of martial arts by sitting on the outside and critiquing motherfuckers. You don't become a master of 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 of, of, of um of emceeing by sitting outside and critiquing other motherfuckers. No. You know what I'm saying? There is nothing that you can do and become a master of that you that you can't throw yourself into the chaos. Because from the outside, it's going to look crazy. It's like when you was doing your class, your discussion um, uh, for uh, when Brother Kwame, I'm talking about Kwame in particular, when you did your um, Sabiat and you started discussing math, you know what I'm saying? And me as an outsider, I'm I'm all, I'm all right with math. You know what I'm saying? And then you start talking about putting a formula up. You had to get somebody. You had to have. You had to call on somebody special. You had to call them by name to get up to the board so they could write out the language that you understood. Why? Because you had dealt with them and you understood that they understood what you was talking about. Because if a person wasn't involved with math, with the equation that you had her, had her put on the board. They wouldn't have been able to write. Why? Because it would have sounded like a bunch of chaotic words. Family. We'll never save our community standing on the outside observing. This is something that you live. Kwanzaa, you'll never understand it sitting on the outside. You know what I'm saying? Our history, you'll never understand it sitting on the outside. The importance of pouring libations, you'll never understand it sitting on the outside. You know what I'm saying? So part of unity is getting involved. Getting involved in what you perceive as chaos because it's chaos to you because you're on the outside. But if you're on the inside, you know how this shit works. You know what I'm saying? I done been all over the country. Well, I used to. You know what I'm saying? But everywhere I go, when I find those like spirits and those like minds. You know what I'm saying? Those organizations like like I'm involved with here, whether it's black or, 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 or Latino or Native American. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I step into those circles, because I already know how to operate within my community, my collective, when I step in those circles, shit already happening for me, family. Because I already know how shit flows. Because working with people is working with people. You know what I'm saying? So if you are involved with working with people, you know what I'm saying? You understand. Like, for example, you know what I'm saying? I, I know that in every group you got a fucking snake. But also in every group you got a king. In every group you got a queen. In every group you got you got that 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 person who, who whose personality, you know what I'm saying? It, it just... Just so um, you got different, you got different things that you can look for in every group, but you don't know that shit if you ain't a people person, if you're not really involved with anything. You can't know. You don't know that shit from observing, sitting on the sitting on the sidelines, family. That's what a lot of us do. Hey, hit them call up line six one four five five six four five three five. Somebody out there, let me know. Give me. Let's let's discuss unity today. What does it look like? What does what? What what would happen to this country if black folks, not even black, not even all black, let's say if ten percent of of black folks unify, let's not even say United States. What would happen to Columbus? And to Columbus, is if five percent of the black folks here just just jail, just I mean even the word I mean just think about it, unify to jail. Come on, family. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all out there. Well, I think somebody out there. Ah, woo. Man, I might have to bring some of this to, to Kwanzaa tonight. Nah, I'm keeping this shit to myself. Call me selfish. Call me mean. But just don't call me late for the caramel. Caramel. Man, all right, so, so we finished the toast, I did my little diatribe, you know what I'm saying, family, like and share, 
What we're going to do right now is, well, actually, I'm going to just let y'all go. I'm going to say uh, peace out. I'm not going to hold up everybody. And I'm going to say have a great day. And I will see you at Kwanzaa. Be checking out my stream because we're going to be, I'm going to be live streaming um, some of the stuff during the Kwanzaa celebration. Um, let's do something else. As a matter of fact, let's see who's going to be. I think Brother Quojo will be, uh, Brother Quojo. Brother Quojo will be the MC. Yeah. Um, Sister Earth and Brother Quojo will be, um, the MC. Quojo Ababio. Uh, I ain't gonna, oh, Navita done jumped off already. The best learn language one must immerse oneself. That's right. Um, Elder Tony Ayande West with Community Drummers. Drum call will start at 6 p.m., um, Mifflin Middle School Choir is going to be performing. We're going to be giving award away for marriage and family. Excuse me. Um, Gore Drum and Dance will be performing. And we're going to have a King and Queen Fashion Show by Queen Fatima. All right. So, hey, I'm going to see you on the place tonight. Last but not least, there's one more thing that I need to tell y'all. One more thing. I got the... Oh. Oh. During the day, family. Hold on. Zawadi event for children at the Rickenbacker Wood Foundation Learning Center, 1330 um, Livingston Avenue. Oh. So they're having another Zawadi uh, event today. Um, it will be at the 30, uh, 1330 Livingston Avenue. 43205, 1 to 3 p.m. So, family, if you have children and um, you want to get them involved with something today, there will be a Zawadi event going on once again. So, uh, oh, and by the way, um, Klee made your stuff, Kwame. Um, it's an, it looked nice, too. So, um, matter of fact, I got to cut the video up because he was filming himself while he was making it. So, since there's no call-ins, y'all kind of shy. Y'all scared. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna... Oh, by the way, man. I posted up on my timeline. Um, I seen an interview on Everyday Struggle with Jeezy. And I was very impressed. I'm gonna have to check out some of his music. You know what I'm saying? I was very impressed with what the brother had to say. You know what I mean? If you get an opportunity, check out that interview. I think Everyday Struggle... Um, I think Everyday Struggle... Oh. And tonight I will have your ginseng root. If you could drop me a reminder text, well, I'm I'm gonna keep it on mine. But it's in the refrigerator. It's fresh. Um, I ain't gonna say it's fresh, but you know, you know what I'm saying. It's it's a lie. I you know. Um, what is it? Um, but yeah, um, everyday struggle. And and I just subscribed to the channel, but then I just found out. That Joe Buttons is off the show, and I'm like, damn, you know, I kind of like Joe Buttons. You know, he, you know, he kind of, you know, he he agitates folks. I like that shit. You know what I'm saying? I like that in an interview or sometimes, sometimes. Um, is it still there laughing? Oh yeah, I told you I ain't gonna eat your eat your ginseng, man. It's still good though. It's in the refrigerator. So, family, I'm going to wish you a great day, great Kwanzaa, and good night. Well, my fault. Great day. Good morning. Wonder everyone, wonder why they call it morning. But we out. I'm out. Let's see. Let's start with this one. All right. Let's move to, I got all these I got to cut off and cut